what in the hell is a peptide? Let's just like go with the Cliff Notes version here. Sure, Cliff Notes versions, you know, um, there's a scientist in Russia that really brought us peptides. Um, and originally all these peptides were oral. Um, so all a peptide is a bunch of amino acids strung together. And if there's more than, and there's different definitions of this, but if there's more than about 50 of them, you call it a protein. Mm-hmm. And everybody knows what a protein is. So it's just a shorter chain of amino acids and they can affect the way that um, different metabolic processes in your body run. And it can be basically any organ system you want. So there's peptides that can affect every single organ of your body or different, different processes of your body. And so now that, you know, it's been many years since the beginning of the development of peptides. Now we have so many different peptides for everything and they're in oral form. Now you can do them in creams. A lot of them are injectables. So, but they're all fairly naturally occurring peptides. There's not too many synthetic peptides because your body every day, and you know, this number is just, you know, an average number and we don't know exactly, but there's around 4,000 peptides in your body that we know of that are constantly adjusting things, yeah. you know, all these different metabolic pathways. And so we're just using these peptides that are already available in your body and you're already using them. And we're just giving you in higher concentrations to get, you know, a different outcome. But it's not like I'm giving you something synthetic, like a synthetic steroid or a synthetic pharmaceutical that we don't know how it's going to be metabolized and stuff like that. Your body already has all this stuff built into it, how to break it down. So is, is, is this something that's just naturally in your body and then it's just triggering a, a natural response because you're injecting it or using a cream or taking it orally? Pretty much. So like, um, you know, one of the peptides that most people know of, you've used it, I've used mm-hmm. it many times is that body protection complex 157 or people know it as BPC 157. It occurs from mouth to anus. And, um, you know, the way I try to explain it to people is you bite your cheek and the next day you're like, oh, it's healed. And then you cut your arm and like a week later, you're like, oh, I can still kind of see what I did to myself. Right. Um, because you don't have BPC there. But, you know, the athletes that have worked with you or worked with me and stuff like that, and they're like, oh, I kind of tweak, you know, my rotator cuff or something like that. And they inject the PC. They're like, oh, well, that feels better. Or they tweak their hip or so you can just see it's like it's just a healing mechanism and it helps pretty much heal everywhere. Yeah. And it's, and it's pretty crazy. So, I mean, I, I've taken uh, several different peptides and, you know, even friends and they're like, Oh, should I be taking this or some sort of deer fucking urine or whatever? <laughs> like, right. There was like antler spray shit for a while that kind of took yeah. off and whatever. And I'm like, no, take some peptides. And like, what do you do? I'm like, well, you know, generally speaking, you're going to inject them. They're like, Oh, injecting whatever. I'm like, I tell you what, like I, I tweak my back. I, I hurt my hip. I take some BPC, uh, BPC 157 and literally, I mean, I, I, different studies that you're looking at is like twice the healing amount of time. It's pretty crazy. And it's just nuts. And if you're like really hurt, you can inject it twice a day. Um, I just, and you know, there's another peptide and we'll get into all the different peptides. There's one that's called Benmosin beta four and it affects your immune system in response to healing. So BPC is working on one mechanism. The thymosin beta four works on a different mechanism. You combine them together, and you get this really advanced healing. Wow! So you can you can combine you can stack these. I mean, it, yeah, it, and it, that's cool. the whole new level of peptides. Is um, so I, I did this certification um, in peptides um, through uh, American Academy of Anti Aging, you know, through George Washington University, and it just blew my mind and how you can do these different stacks and all the different kinds of peptides that are actually available. Um, most of these peptides, like you can't even get them anymore. Mm. Uh, and we'll go into that later with the yeah. FDA and what they're trying to do. Um, and cause they're so safe and these peptides are already in your body, you know? Um, but these levels of stacking, you're, you're working on all the different mechanisms. So some of them are working on like the, muscle stem cells or like how fast you're going to respond to a stressor so that you can change the, the, how much you're going to work out and then how often you're going to work out. I mean, it's just, and and you talk about this all the time, you know, you you create a stress and then after the stress, you're weaker. Right. Right. And so then you need recovery 
And then your body after the recovery has adapted and now it's a little bit stronger than it was. And then before it says like, I'm not gonna stay stronger because we didn't do anything. We're gonna apply another stressor, right? And hopefully keep getting stronger and stronger and stronger, right? At least close to our genetic potential, which is like the goal, right? Yeah. Um, and if you're doing some of these peptide stacks, well, it just makes it a lot easier. So, Especially if you're older, 